Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the new Reaper Tips number 3. Today I want to share with you guys the way I go about recording electric guitars. I've been recording electric guitars for about 4 years in Reaper. And this is just the way that it works for me. It doesn't actually mean that it's gonna work for you, but if you try and if you like it, that, that's cool. <laughs> so what I have in this session is very simple. I just have the backing track and the two guitars that I want to track in. And both of these need to be armed to record, which is really important. I'm gonna have one guitar that's going hard left and the other one's gonna be hard right. Both of these tracks are loaded with amp simulation, and this time I'm using bias amp, which is a really great sounding amp. The first thing that I usually do is find the section of the song where I want to track my guitars in, and make a time selection. For example, for this one, I want to track guitars in this area. Then I will give myself some pre-roll by dragging the left edge of the time selection, like one bar right here. Then I make sure that I have the toggle repeat activated, and it should be this little icon right here. You just press it, and you're ready to record. Now I'm gonna press record and play the same riff two times. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Now that you play your riff as many times as you want, you can see that you have some takes files around here. And then it's just as easy as going through the takes and selecting the best take for each track. You can go to the next take by pressing T, and go into the previous take by pressing Shift T. Now I just need to select one take for each track and we should have dual guitars now. We go into the first take right here and the second take right here. And that should be it, let's hear how it sounds like. So, yeah. <laughs> Feel free to record as many takes as you want and select the best takes for each track. However, never let the same take play at the same time, and you can see right here at the top of the item the take number that you're in. This also works with quad tracking and so on, you just need to repeat the process more. And that'll be it. I hope you guys found that useful, and make sure to subscribe and stuff, and see you later. <laughs>